The hunt is on for Bigfoot in the Great North. The scientific, zoological, and journalistic communities have united in an expedition of discovery to uncover the truth behind the videotape that has engrossed America. Shot on April 16th on the northern edge of Lake Winnipeg in Manitoba, Canada, 600 miles north of the U.S. border, this blurry, moving object is said to be none other than the mysterious creature known as Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Bobby Clark of the Cree Indian Nation shot the video. Work sucked. They have no respect for my kind of talent. Minimum wage! Yeah! What are you doing? This song sound familiar to you? This is what I need. I'm just gonna say all summer doing nothing. What are you doing? What are you looking at? Oh, uh, nothing. Just reading. Okay, I see Bigfoot. Why are you looking at this gay Bigfoot crap? It's not crap. Look, America's top Bigfoot scientists are on here. And looking at this makes me think there could be a Bigfoot. Yeah, there's some monkey guy running around in the woods. But only drunk hillbillies and crazy scientists can see him. Come on. 90% of all egg species have been discovered this century. There could still be one more out there. 90%? I felt 40 old losers who run around chasing Bigfoot still live with their moms. And have never kissed a girl besides their moms. And if you keep on reading this crap, you're going to become one of them. Come on, this is a joke. I bet you $20 that Bigfoot's real. Uh, no thanks. I feel bad taking money from someone who only works two hours a week. No, come on, there's an ad here, look. Ted the Bigfoot guy. $20 to see Bigfoot or your money back. If we don't see Bigfoot, then I'll give you the money that we get back. But if we do, you have to pay the guy. Uh, I don't know. Ted the Bigfoot guy sounds like a good way for us to both get lost in the woods with some psycho so he can kill us. Look, there's emails from people who went on tour 90... 7% of them said they had a good time. Yeah, well, it's a 3% that I'm worried about. Look, that's not the point. Even if we don't see Bigfoot, it's like we're being paid $20 just going to day hike. Okay, fine. I guess I have nothing else to do. Call the boot. We're gone. Hi, um, I'm calling about the Bigfoot guy. Let me stop you right there. You're calling about the Bigfoot guy? Yeah, uh, when soon as we can go? Uh, tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, parking ride in Newcastle. Bye. <laughs> what did he say? He said we got a time tomorrow at 7. Okay, whatever. So, uh, what are we doing now? Want to head up to Dairy Queen? Why would you want to go back? You were just there. Yeah, but Tim is managing, so we can get some free ice cream. What are we waiting for? Let's just go. Let's go.
Hey, it's uh, Tim here. What are you doing here? I just want to talk to Tim. No, he's on his break. Oh. Uh. Can you just get a cup of water, Tim? Shaniqua thinks she's the Dairy Queen. But she doesn't know anything about Expedina. Yeah, she she really needs to get with it. Yeah. Hey, do we really need to get up at 7 tomorrow? That's what the guy said. Wow, that's pretty early. Bigfoot must be a morning person, huh? Actually, there's no statistical proof that any time of day is better to see Bigfoot. Hey, what are the chances that you'll ever stop being a nerd? Whatever, dude. Come tomorrow, we'll see who the nerd is. Well, for some reason I decided to go on this little excursion, so... I guess that makes both of us nerds. Yeah, that's the spirit. Two nerds on the prowl. Don't ever say that again. You may prefer chasing Bigfoot, but I'd rather be chasing women. What's the difference? The kind of girls you like, not much. Just because I like to... I like the girls that aren't so intimidating to talk to. It's better to hang out with the first girl we made from the pageant than... To admire Miss America from far. Where did that come from? Don't get all defensive just because I have high standards. Well, fine then. Don't denigrate my inclination for attainable women. Oh, okay, whatever. Just put the thesaurus away. You're making me nervous. Man, it's been a while. Tim's probably on his half. Half of what? Half hour break. Oh. Well, we better call a night, you know, it's getting pretty late. You don't want free ice cream? Well, with the Dairy Queen working here, I don't think we're gonna get any free ice cream. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll drop you off.